Hi everyone, this is Lisa. I hope you're having an awesome day. Um, you can see I'm wearing a shirt that says Know the Secret and I actually have it for a different purpose, but it fits for today. So um, I was reading this book called The Big Leap and it was for business purposes. I really wanted to know what was stopping me. It's all about comfort zones and stuff. And throughout that whole time, I kept saying, I kept hearing, uh, know what's coming at you, know what the enemy does. So I started getting into it a little bit and I found an answer. I don't know if you've ever done this. Have you ever found an answer in the place where you least expected it? And it's like, oh, why didn't I think to look there? So in this book, I'm not gonna read the whole thing to you, but a lot of what stops us is really us, but we're allowing something in. So kind of like, you know, when the heat's getting out or in the case of Southerners, when the air is getting out, you need to go through and shut your doors, close up all the airways so we don't let the wrong things in, but yet yeah, we let the right things flourish. So um, the Bible mentions, um, this is uh, Satan, You Can't Have My Miracle by Iris Delgado. And she has this awesome list of things that I just never had named most of them a lot of times if you know what's coming at you and what it is sometimes you'd make a different decision like for instance um okay the bible mentions various different spirits many of which are a hindrance to christians battling the inner turmoil and brokenness or letting things stop you even as you prayerfully read over this list ask the holy spirit to reveal and help you understand any of these spirits if any of these spirits have become a stronghold, giving evil spirits demonic influence over some areas in your life. And she's going into this really strongly, and, and she should. Uh, spirit of anguish, broken spirit, compelling spirit, spirit of deception, spirit of deep sleep, slumber, inactive, postponed decisions, anything like that. And these all have descriptions after them. I'm just going to read the few that I... I think most speak to me. Hopefully they'll speak to you too. Um, spirit of distress, unsettled, worrying, stressful, painful, miserable, errant spirit, spirit of error, wrong belief, false assumptions. Hmm. Okay, failing spirit, deteriorated, weakened, dying, declining, inadequate. Okay, spirit of fear. I think we all get that one. Uh, grieved spirit, a hardened and obstinate spirit, Haughty spirit, spirits of heaviness, needing strength, requiring concentration, lingering, oppressive. Human spirit, spirit of ill will, the spirit of jealousy. Uh, overwhelmed spirit. Yep. Okay. So overwhelmed spirit, uh, overcome emotionally, besieged, overpowered, devastated. Perverse spirit. Um... Poison spirit, sorrowful spirit, sullen spirit, hostile, dull, bad-tempered, angry, gloomy, depressed, eh. um, unfaithful spirit, disloyal, false, untrue, adulterous, faithless, unruly spirit, disorderly, um, boisterous, disruptive, disorderly, disobedient, uncontrollable, um, unclean spirit, impure, contaminated, unchaste, lustful, immoral, un adulterated um, these are all ones that she names. Uh, I had a one that I may, uh, add to the list. Um, and she goes in to talk about those, but you know, I never named some of these before as, in, as spirits that were coming, but you know, if, if it's hindering you from getting the things that God's put in you as a dream or a goal, like travel, like, uh, being successful in business, like anything that God has said it's given you the green light to. It's been in your heart and in your spirit. And maybe you're feeling even frustrated right now because you haven't got there. What are we letting stop us? It's some of these. So maybe we need to just address some of these issues. Um, and it goes into it. And I'll, I'll go into this a little bit more. Um, I'm, I'm, it's helping me write a Bible study. But I think we need to pray over these things. And for those of you who... Um, maybe don't, haven't had a lot of contact with God or aren't quite sure what you're doing, there are ways that you can get get to um, this teaching. 
And if you're new, it's going to sound really strange because even up to a few years ago, this would have sounded a little bit too deep and strange for me. But the more I read about it, the more I check it out, the more it seems true. So what we need to do is break anything that's strong holding us. And it's not going to be easy. If things come too easily, it's kind of like credit versus um, saving up for something. If you've got to save up for something, it takes a long time, patience, um, you know, perseverance. These are not easy steps. Or you can do the immediate gratification and you end up paying a lot more and ending up in debt. And then, you know, there's a whole spiral there. There's a payment either way. Um, but one just makes you feel better right away. And is that really the thing that's the right answer? Well, that's I have found that easy tends to not be the best way. Um, so anyway, keep working at stuff. It Just because something hasn't come true right now doesn't mean it's not going to. It means you're working on it. Keep working. The only way you really lose is if you give up, right? So if you're still working on your business, you may have to make some tweaks and changes. If you're working on your weight, whatever it is you're it's been put on your heart to do, whether it's ministry, anything, it's going to come with time and patience and then you get the good stuff. If it came too quick, you wouldn't have learned your lessons yet and you only learn your lessons really by trying things out. So happy stumbling and keep dreaming, keep your goals coming. And if you want to go places, save up for it. There's, it's, it's definitely worth it when you get it, right? Sometimes it, it takes you so long to get it, you almost don't realize you're there yet. But anyway, I hope that all makes sense. Anyway, um, have a great Tuesday, everybody. I hope this has helped somebody. Please like and share um, with someone that you feel could use this today. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.